everyone, my name is Penny Zanker and I'm the author of the best-selling book, The Productivity Zone, Stop the Tug of War with Time. And uh, I'm just jumping on to do a couple of uh, quick tips here on different tools and things that people have said they've had challenge while they're home with the coronavirus, or, sorry, not with the coronavirus, but they're home because of the quarantine of the coronavirus. And, uh, and everybody's having these online meetings and they've got new tools that they're not used to using and they don't know how to do certain settings. So somebody had asked me how to use Zoom and to create different meeting IDs because people were having overlaps of meetings where one would run over and as people started to come in, it would disrupt the other meeting. So first of all, I have other tools that can help you to start and end your meetings on time, but that's another topic. So please do look for those videos. But what I wanna talk about today is how to create a different meeting ID so you don't have any overlap. So there's two ways to do that. If you're creating a meeting right now, you could go to new meeting and you just make sure that it doesn't have checked use my personal meeting ID. So if you don't use that, it will automatically generate a new meeting ID. Well, let's say you have somebody who's scheduling meetings for uh, different people within the organization. So they can go to schedule and it's here in the settings, right? So they can schedule a meeting uh, for a particular time. So let's say I'm gonna schedule one for 8 p.m. tonight, hopefully not. But right here, meeting ID, it's gonna generate the ID automatically instead of using that fixed ID number. And then uh, you're going to put a password if you wanna have a password and set the other settings. In advanced, you can also have people wait in the waiting room, which means it won't start without the host, uh, which gives the host an opportunity if there's any guests, you see this at the bottom, alternative host, they can meet beforehand and then they can hit go live when they're ready for everybody else to join. You can also mute the participants on the entry and that way uh, things are quiet and you don't hear a lot of noise and disruption and you can start the meeting on time and then let everybody know that they can unmute or you can unmute them as, as need be. Uh, and also you can automatically record this meeting. Keep in mind, which is quite handy, is that what Zoom does is it records uh, two different files. You have the video file, but you also have an audio only file. So if you wanted to upload those into um, a, a, a a list, a playlist for people to be able to access and listen to after if they weren't able to attend the meeting and they don't need the video aspect of it, they can, uh, you can do that easily. So it's kind of a nice feature. And that's it. And then you hit schedule and then it's going to show up on your, uh, on your schedule. So I'm just going to hit schedule there. I'll allow it to join my calendar. We'll go back to zoom. And then you see, as I log in and I'm in Zoom, I see what's my next meeting appointment that's, that's logged in here. But then also I can view my upcoming meetings. And here's where I wanna show you is they all have different IDs. So that means that we won't have a challenge if we have a bump up between uh, one meeting to another, like four to five and then five to 5.30, these people will be waiting in the waiting room until I get there and launch the meeting and it will be a different ID. So that's it, it's that simple. If you have any questions, uh, stay tuned for other tools and tips and strategies that I'm gonna be uh, uploading to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and across the board. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for being here and please do subscribe to my different channels. Hit like, do me a favor, help other people to see it, pass the link along to people who might need it. And uh, you know, let's, let's put as many great tips and tricks out there and share it with as many people as possible so we can uh, you know, focus on what's important and, and have efficient meetings. That'll make us feel better at the end of the day, even if our time is, is limited with family members at home and, uh, and even more to do. So let's be more efficient and effective in everything that we do. We'll see you in the next episode.